Today I'm going to make chicken and basil cream. A very simple dish takes a whole 30 minutes. So let's get started on Darlene's table. I have two large chicken breasts that I cut horizontally, so I now have four pieces. I'm going to put it in milk first and then breadcrumbs. Very light breading. Melt the butter in your skillet. And I'm going to bread the chicken. Very light coating. Because we're not using egg at all, just the milk. All right, now let's brown this for a couple of minutes on each side. Once all four cutlets are browned, I'll remove them to a pan, paper lined uh, pan, where they'll go into the oven and I'll keep them warm while I proceed with the basil cream. All right, so chicken broth, and that's the same skillet I cooked the chicken in. And now I'm adding the cream. Bell pepper, I just, I had an orange bell pepper, so that's what I used. But I like a little color in this dish besides the green basil. And now salt and pepper to taste. Cook this for a minute or so. Adjust again for seasoning if necessary. I'm adding Parmesan cheese. Make sure it's all melted and then the basil. Quarter cup of chopped basil. Adjust according to your taste with salt and pepper. Now I'm going to serve this over a hot bed of rice the chicken, and then the basil cream over that. It's such a simple, easy, quick dish. This can be done in less than 30 minutes. Chicken and basil cream. If you are looking for a simple chicken recipe with a little wild wow factor, well, this is sure to bring smiles to your family. This is a fantastic recipe, and really, once you have everything prepped, it only takes about 30 minutes. I love a quick and easy recipe that's also delicious, and that's exactly what this is. Lightly breaded chicken breast with a creamy basil sauce and Parmesan cheese, cooked with all the seasoning that goes with it. You have to give this a try. So go to DarlenesTable.com and find the recipe with all the ingredients so you can make this yourself. I'll put a direct link to it in the video description and also in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, give us a like and consider subscribing. That way you can keep up with what's going on right here on Darlene's Table.